We had Orla O'Connor of the National Women's Council on with us about their calls to remove Article, I think it's 41.2, which talks about women's life within the home and their duties within the home and women within the home. It frames women as their primary role as but within the home and about whether or not that should be removed from the Constitution and should it be replaced with something else. Um, I would very, very rarely say this, but I, I, I do feel this about that particular clause. I find it offensive. I don't have a place within the home. I have a place wherever I choose my place to be. I have children. I love them dearly. They're the most important people in my life. But that does not preclude me. My parenting of my children does not preclude me from having a job, from having a career and from working outside the home as well as within the home. Don't think for a moment anybody who has a job doesn't work within their home as well because of course they do. I think this is outdated. I think this is sexist and I do not like the fact that De Valera has put me in a box that I don't want to be in. I would like to see it <laughs> start blaming thrown De in the bin. Everybody blames De Valera. De Valera. I want to see this thrown in the bin. Yeah. The Constitution I, I was written want, in 1938. I it was want, a different, it was I, a different yes, place. Yeah, different absolutely. country. Absolutely. And, and it was a different country. In the past is a different country in general. I want it gone. I'd like to see the back of it. I... I, I find it hard to even say this because I'm not someone who takes offence at, at things often and I actually couldn't be bothered. But I find it offensive yeah, towards I get women. I get that. I think, and I think it's fair. And I think if there was a referendum on that and that alone in the morning, it would pass with a bigger majority than uh, the Good Friday Agreement uh, did. The problem is, I think, and the tricky thing is, and we spoke to Orla Connor about this and she put her case very well uh, at the Women's Council, arguing that it should be replaced. It shouldn't just be uh, taken out. It should be replaced with uh, a special reference to CARES. Now, I have a difficulty with this. I don't like, and I know you agree with me, Kira. I don't like the idea of the Constitution. The Constitution is a legal document, a legal framework. I don't like the idea of putting things in the Constitution, vague references. We saw what happened with the Eighth Amendment, which which was passed by a huge majority uh, back in, you know, um, Orla was talking about uh, the um, Citizens' Assembly approving this, like 66% of the electorate or something voted for the Eighth Amendment. 1983. In 1983. It was the wrong call because you can't deal with complex issues uh, in, in, in the referendum. And I think the idea, uh, and sorry, just to be absolutely clear, carers do an amazing job. This isn't in any way a criticism of them. And what they do is extraordinary. But elevating the rights of one group of people over another group, however deserving, I think is hugely problematic. And there are consequences to doing it that we haven't even spoken well, about. Well, Orla said it wasn't about carers. It was about um, recognising the value of care in general in our society. And whilst that sounds laudable and indeed almost noble, I have no idea why we would want that in a legal document. It's that quite, fra- it's that quite frames, woolly, isn't it? Yeah, I, I, you said it, it's a bit ambiguous. She, no, no, it's very clear. I, I didn't actually understand what was being said. I didn't understand what the point of, of this new clause. I don't personally understand why we need to replace it at all. Throw it out, leave it empty. That suits me fine. And she said, women want this. I'm a woman. I don't want it at all.